name is Christina Thurmond. I am a forensic studies major and I am Alonzo. This is the second show I've done, that's Shakespeare, and it was completely different. It was more intense and it required a lot of emotional work. Alonzo is a grief-stricken queen who believes that she has just lost her son Ferdinand in a tempest. It's believed to be the last play Shakespeare wrote, so in many ways Prospero is a very theatrical character. It's like a Shakespeare personified. As a character, you know, she's a mother, a loving mother, someone who's been wronged, but at the same time is capable of doing a lot of really bad things. In a way, it was actually a kind of a hard character to sympathize with at first, because you kind of have to find the humanity in the things that you don't agree with, too, and know that she believes wholeheartedly that what she's doing is for the best. This island is mine by cigarettes, my mother. We started off with scripts and people just kind of walking around, reading off of pages, to getting the stage put in, which changed everything because it's raked, so they needed to get used to walking actually up instead of just backwards. You kind of have to imagine it at the beginning, so you're working with like a taped floor and the different levels and the special lighting, you know, usually you're not responsible for doing the lights and all that kind of stuff, so just getting accustomed to the concept of the show was um, very interesting. It's a whole different experience than what you expect Shakespeare to be. Not a soul that felt the fever of the mad and played some tricks of desperation. The language <laughs> was probably the biggest challenge. It's familiar enough that you know the words, but distinct enough that you feel like you're speaking in another language. Instead of just reading words and then deciding on your character, you have to read the words, find out what they mean, and then um, you know, interpret your character through that. So to kind of ground that and make it into a character was a little difficult. You know, ground it in reality, but still bring forth the beauty of the text. But I've watched them go from scared actors to being very confident in what they're doing, because a lot of them are underclassmen. So this is their first production with us, so they're able to overcome that and move forward. Seeing yourself develop that character and start to step into the shoes of that character and everyone around you is really a magical experience. I get so excited looking at other people's scenes <laughs> and see how much they've grown. It's been so fun and it's just, it's been a really great experience.